Hi, I'm Vanessa from SpeakEnglishWithVanessa.com. Do you want to use movies to learn English? Let's talk about it. Do you like watching movies? Uh, personally, I don't watch too many movies, but I really enjoy a good movie. So today I'm going to share with you my top three movies plus two bonus movies for learning more about American culture. And these aren't just my choices. The National Film Registry has chosen these movies along with several others that they say are important for learning about American culture. They are culturally, historically, and aesthetically significant films. So let's get started with my first recommendation. My first recommendation features two quite famous actors. They are Johnny Depp and Leonardo DiCaprio, and this movie is What's Eating Gilbert Grape? This movie was filmed in the 90s, so they are young. In fact, they're almost kids. They're teenagers. In this movie, Johnny Depp is the older brother, and he needs to take care of his younger brother, Leonardo DiCaprio, who has a mental disability. And the older brother needs to take care of his younger brother because their mother is incapable of doing it. She is 500 pounds or 260 kilograms. So in this movie, we can see an interesting dynamic between the mother and her sons. And also, this is something I think is quite valuable for learning about American culture, their family and the small town in Iowa where they live. This is in the middle of the US. This is real small town America. So when I watched this movie, I thought this really accurately portrays small town America. You can see some dialogues between characters that's quite realistic. And even though this movie is not action-packed, there's not explosions and crazy things that are happening, it's realistic. And I think that it's a great way to learn more about culture and improve your listening skills. My second movie recommendation is a classic. It features Tom Hanks and it's Forrest Gump. I hope that you've at least heard of this movie and if you haven't, make sure that you watch it. It features a kind of slow-witted, which means not so smart, man, Forrest Gump, who's played by Tom Hanks, and he lives through some really valuable times in American history. So this takes place between the 1940s and the 1980s, and a lot of things happen during this time, and the lead character plays some important roles in American history. Even though he's a fictional character, you can see him in different places in American history that are quite pivotal. Some of the things that he experiences and even influences are uh, American football matches, meeting President Kennedy, going to war in Vietnam, playing ping pong in China, investing in Apple computers. These are quite important things that happened in the last century. So here you're going to be able to understand a lot of history, but as well learn more about a movie that is culturally significant. It's quoted a lot, it's talked a lot about in daily conversation, so you'll be building your knowledge so that you can have great conversations. My third movie recommendation is the reason why I'm wearing this shirt that has little bicycles on it. It is the classic movie E.T or extraterrestrial. And you might know that this movie is about an alien who is found by a 10-year-old boy. And this movie is excellent for testing your listening skills because the main character is a 10-year-old. So the dialogue is pretty simple, not too fast, and you can see it through his perspective. So this is a great way to start watching movies in English without feeling too overwhelmed. This movie, E.T., also plays an important role in American culture because often when someone points, or the, especially if they point to the sky, we might say, E.T., phone home, which is the classic line from this movie. And in fact, I found myself doing this yesterday with my baby. So even though he's not really speaking much yet, he's still quite young, he is starting to learn about American culture through daily conversation. He likes to point a lot. So when he was pointing to the sky, I said, are you trying to phone home? And here he's going to be building his knowledge of the culture through these type of interactions. So you can do this as well. Watch the movie and try to learn more about the culture and include it when you speak with other people. Now I have two bonus movies for you. These ones are a little bit more intense. I would say they're probably not good for kids. 
uh, depending on your kids, but I personally wouldn't show them to my children. The first one is Shawshank Redemption. The reason why I'm including this movie is because it is definitely culturally significant in the US. We reference this movie, there are scenes where we imitate this movie quite often. And this is about the American prison system. So there's a man named Andy who is convicted of two murders and he's sent to prison. And in prison he meets Red who is Morgan Freeman, a famous American actor, and they form a friendship. So this movie is about learning more about American culture, it's about learning about the prison system, about friendship, and ultimately about hope. What is hope? Can we have hope in desperate situations? This movie is based on a book by Stephen King, and Stephen King is pretty famous for suspenseful, intense stories. So as you can imagine, this book in this movie is pretty intense. I wouldn't recommend it for children, but if you enjoy suspense, intense, filled movies, not horror, not thrillers, but just intense, I really recommend this one. My second bonus movie is one of my personal favorites. It's The Rear Window. And this movie is quite old. It's from the 1950s, but it's filmed by a famous film director, Alfred Hitchcock. And in my personal opinion, you haven't lived until you've seen an Alfred Hitchcock movie. They're simple and suspenseful and delightful. I love them. Well, this one is unusual because it takes place in only one room. You never leave this one room. Why? Well, the main character, who is played by Jimmy Stewart, and his counterpart, Grace Kelly, who became the princess of Monaco after filming this. Anyway, the main character, Jimmy Stewart, he has broken his leg, so he's stuck in his room. He can't get out. And he's kind of a well-known photographer and journalist, so he's always curious. So while he's stuck in his room, He's watching the neighbors. So you can see out his apartment window and you can see what he's seen out his window. I think this movie is pretty culturally significant because we often think about this old style movie when we think about classic films. And this one is one of the best in my opinion. When you watch this movie, I hope that you'll appreciate the beauty of the cinematography and how creative they were with just this one room. Go ahead and watch it. It's not a horror movie, it's not a thriller, but it is intense and it is a mystery. So go ahead and enjoy it. And now I have a question for you. In the comments below this video, let me know what is one of your favorite movies? The next time that you want to just kick back and relax, turn on Netflix or Hulu or Amazon Prime or wherever you watch your movies and take one of these recommendations and try your best to watch it in English, even with English subtitles. Go ahead, you can do it. Thanks so much for learning with me and I'll see you again next Friday for a new lesson here on my YouTube channel. Bye! The next step is to download my free ebook, Five Steps to Becoming a Confident English Speaker. You'll learn what you need to do to speak confidently and fluently. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more free lessons. Thanks so much. Bye.